all the various interpretations of 90% and 10% division, and it's quite clear that he also wanted to say 90% of the thing that has to be said. <laughs> so I've got 10% to cover, which I will now try to do. I think I would like to make a few um, observations. First, about the book, uh, rather than the particular thesis. One is that there are particular theses in the book, but it's not just a thesis uh, validation book. There are a whole lot of tables, 50, 60 pages of them. And even if you don't agree, you could use those tables. Indeed, when I was uh, having uh, lunch with a friend of mine who doesn't agree with me on all these points, uh, you could use those tables to argue this point. And I think part of the thing was to give a picture of India. And then in that picture we read something. And we were trying to explain, these are the table, are we right in reading this? That's the main style that we tried to, 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 to follow. When, when I sort of moved around from subject to subject, the math and economics to history and politics and philosophy, I also, in the process of history, I remember thinking that great historian Clapham had the tendency to quote tables only when they illustrate the point he's making. And I thought that may be a case for not following the Clapham school and try to present all the data and then say, would we be right in concluding? So I think that's one of the things driving the book and that also explains the reason why the 100 page idea had such premature burial because we had to have all those tables. The tables alone came close to that. Now, the second thing to emphasize is that there's a lot of achievements in India which we mentioned. Some of them we didn't put so much emphasis, perhaps, because we, many of the achievements are widely recognized, uh, including the high growth rate, uh, Indian maintenance of democracy, uh, on the whole, a good record of human rights, not without blemishes, I'm afraid, and we do talk about them too, but basically a record in the, in the, in the comparative context, which could be large. But there are other achievements which you don't get as much hearing. I mean, a statement we made a long time ago that uh, famines don't occur uh, in, in democracy, as well illustrated by India, that uh, the, the famines which used to characterize the Raj um, disappeared almost immediately after independence because a, a democratic government cannot afford to have a famine. And that combined with the theory of famine, which indicates that they are extremely easy to prevent, makes it clear they will be preventable. But this applies to other things too. As some people may have forgotten, only a few years ago we were discussing that a, 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 India was going to be the AIDS center of the world. There are going to be more AIDS patients here than anywhere else in the world. But what happened to that? Well, I don't think we will, I mean, it's still a problem, but the, not a bigger problem than most countries you can think of. And indeed, what happened is that people were concerned, and I might say panicked about it, just as we would be at the prospect of a famine. And we did something, that is, the country did, I speak here as a citizen of India, and we did, and the result was that it was, that threat was eliminated. There are many other examples we can give. And these are worth doing, and I think, looking back at the, at the, at the, when we were writing the book and now, that given the fact that the capacity of the state to do things would be one of the things very much questioned, ought to mention the fact that there are lots of things that happen which are connected with the capacity of the state to do things, of which famine elimination may be the most talked about globally, but there are many other stories connected with that, and that's quite quite worth emphasizing. Uh, I remember my friend Mabu Wilhuck, with whom I worked on human development, often telling me that Amartya, you have to bear in mind, don't be so critical of the government as it exists, because if you are, your country will end up by undermining all possible governments, and my country will continue to have a military dictatorship. <laughs> and I think there is a real issue there about what are the alternatives we are considering. But the fact is that the story, the uncertainty of the glory, is the bigger part of the book. Because they are possibly less familiar, some of them are not so familiar even to us, 
as to how abysmal Indian's performance is in comparative perspective. 